Hi there, it's friends, it's Oliver, and in this video we will have a look at the Seduta in Prima Parata. Most of you will know the Parry in Prima from saber fencing or fencing with a cane because it's a very common parry there. And it's not a big surprise because when you parry in Prima, you can immediately follow up with a cut from above because it's already armed and so the delivering time is less. But we are doing our small sword series and you guess it, the repose is not very nicely if you choose the thrust in opposition. Let's have a look at today's exercise. So we try to avoid the parry in prima. And actually, we will find it not a single time in all the exercises from the Scalzi. But sometimes, especially if you're a saberist, it is somewhere deep in your brain and it happens. But actually, we do not do a parry in opposition. We do a seating parry. So we react more or less on the input we get from our binding. But now, let's jump right into the exercise. So let's start at the beginning. Um, because it's the Contraria di Contraria, we have to start with the Prima Resolutione, like last time. So I give pressure to my outside. He feints to my inside. And when I do a Parata di Contro, he goes to my lower line, but this time he fakes it again. And when I go to Seconda, he thrusts at my chest. But this time, I parry. And because this is a fast attack, when he goes from his seconda to quarta, I do the same thing because for um, many people, if we go from seconda to terza, the wrist is not that nice to them, so it takes longer. And longer means the hit is in before he parries. So I stay in seconda and I do the same. I go in quarter to the outside. So I parry in terza falsa. So once again, please. Outside, contri terza, seconda, terza falsa. So, and now when he stands up, I take the bind and give him a repose in binding and he does a seduta in prima, which feels very natural because he's a saberist. <laughs> but um, as I told you before, this is not a good parry for a thrust fencer because the repost is not that nice. But we do the repost um, either way. So he reposts in the bind in prima to my lower line. So once again, one, two, three, whoosh. And in bind, seduta, and in. As I said, Prima is not the best position for a repost. But it's a good solution for a problem. For the same problem exists another solution, which is not so easy to execute, but a real beauty in result. It's another version for the Contraria di Contraria in exercise 11, and we will show you in the next video. But before you go and train, give us a little support by like and subscribe. It just costs you two seconds and two clicks. So, thanks and see you in the next video.